<clears throat> um, what are you doing? I'm trying to be one of the Thors, but this stupid hammer won't budge. <laughs> you haven't spent any time training. You haven't gotten yourself stronger. What makes you think you're worthy? Oh, and you have? I don't know. Wait a second, hang on. What's up guys, it's the old ninja wearing aviators and super superhero hat and welcome to the modern ninja and specifically welcome to the fight like a superhero series here on the channel. Now, I recently saw Thor Love and Thunder and being honest with you, I loved it. Like for real, it's one of the best MCU entries since Endgame. Now, it has been a little bit since the release but just in case, this is going to be a minor spoiler warning. We're not talking about the plot but we will be talking about the movie a little bit so Keep that in mind. But watching both Thors fight together on screen was super dope. It made me want to see the other Thors like Beta Ray Bill, Captain America, and Throg, the Frog Thor, all get together and throw hands. Maybe even add Torin from the next Avengers in there. That would be cool too. But it got me to think, what would it take to become a real life equivalent of a Thor. So let's see how close we can get, but we have just a couple goals with this project. We have to build up our Asgardian strength and durability to the best that we can. We have to have a great combat base. Thors can throw hands with the best of them. I mean, Asgardian is a warrior culture, so it makes sense. So making sure we can hold our own in combat is incredibly important. And of course, we need to have skills with our Warhammer. I'm going to assume we already are all worthy to pick up Mjolnir, but just in case. Just ask yourself, what would Captain America do? Somehow I feel like he is the most worthy of the Thors, but Whatever, let's get into it. First things first, pick your Thor name. I'm obviously the modern Thor. I mean, duh, it's it's just right there. But let me know what you think yours should be down in the comments below. Next, let's build our body to be able to handle our Thor status. First, let's take a page from the strongest people on the planet, the people that do the strongman and strong woman exhibitions. These guys have been able to lift over a hundred pounds more than their weight over their head, pull over a thousand pounds, and even catch cannonballs. Like legit, they catch cannonballs. John Holton was able to catch actual cannonballs coming out of an actual cannon on stage and performances. So you know we gotta add their strength training to our new Thor life. And it goes without saying we have to put on their diet as well. I mean we gotta put on some weight and muscle mass. It is basically necessary. Thors are known for their combat prowess and I literally can't think of any Thor that doesn't automatically know how to throw hands. Even Jane, someone with no prior combat training, was able to throw hands with shadow demons. So we're going to start off with a basic kickboxing. This is generally considered to be a form of mixed martial arts taking influence from several different styles, most notably boxing, Muay Thai, Sabat, and Taekwondo. This gives our real life floor a good base for punching, kicking, groundwork, throws, and other various striking. And finding a good kickboxing school in your areas shouldn't be too challenging. With the popularity of the UFC in society, you can find MMA schools literally everywhere. And we're also going to be adding Gleema. Why? Well, good question. Mostly because I would be hard pressed to do a video about the Norse god without adding a Nordic fighting style. I mean, what is this? And besides, Thor does have the tendency of throwing his enemies left and right, and that's literally what Gleema is all about. Players grip their opponent's waist and try to throw them down or out of the ring. And there's even a military variant of this style that is much much more brutal, so no reason not to add that into your training as well. It's time to talk about Mjolnir, which I'm sure is why most of you came here. And so I feel like throwing away our only weapon is not that great of a plan, 
you know, when, when completely thawed out. We're also not going to be shooting lightning. I mean, if you really want to, you could just carry a taser, but it's definitely not going to be the, you know, judgment of the gods that the lightning is for Thor. And again, yes, yes, I know. I am very disappointed too, but I am not a miracle worker. It is what it is. But for the Mjolnir combat, we're going to spec into HEMA or Historical European Martial Arts, H-E-M-A. This is actually a type of mixed martial arts consisting of European combat forms that have typically died out. But not all HEMA schools are built the same. Some may focus on more hand-to-hand -hand combat while others focus on the longsword. However, there is a school in Denver, Colorado called the Imperial Combat Arts that focuses on warhammers and maces. They train warhammer drills, forms, and katas, and even practice sparring with their hammers. So this is without a doubt the place to go. Generally, Thors, when they fight, seem to focus specifically on a lot of wide and powerful swings. So if you are trying to be as accurate to the Thors on screen as possible, maybe get really good at those specific types of attacks. But while you're there, you'll also be able to learn complex blocks and parries and many body manipulations as well as much, much more things as far as combat hammer is concerned. No, nope, I'm not sponsored by them. They're just, they just seem like a cool school. I don't know what to tell you. But I suggest learning as much as you can in that regard to compensate for you know, your general lack of magic. Yes, I know, I know, it's as guardian science, I don't care, it's magic. Now, after a couple years, maybe a decade or two of training and combat experience, you will be able to fight off thugs like the God of Thunder himself. Now, it may not be perfect, but I think catching cannonballs, tossing hundreds of pounds around, and using a warhammer like a boss is close enough to becoming a Thor that anyone's ever gonna get to. Now, if you made it this far into this video, don't forget to hit me up with that HBO special, so help a brother out and share this video with anyone that you think might enjoy this content as well and if you don't have anyone to share it to no worries you can just drop a like to show your support in that way but until next time my name's dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out okay hammer you and me one more time <sighs> 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 maybe next time <sighs>